like everybody already knew I'm the only one that's going to talk back. Everybody else, y'all hoping Monique going to get you on. I don't give a fuck. One thing <laughs> that I told my brother, one account. thing that me and Monique got in common is we going to speak our mind and we don't give a fuck. That's the only thing I can say we got in common. But one thing I tell people all the time, there's a lot of them hoes that w thought, oh, she going to put me on, so I'm going to kiss her ass. I'm not that bitch. I got my own shit. I was living in a mansion. You understand what I'm saying? That nobody even knew about. Didn't have to brag about it. They found out because they filmed at my home. So I'm sitting there like, I think that's what bothered Monique was that I wasn't kissing her ass. And once she figured out, damn, she ain't kissing my ass. She don't even give a fuck. It bothered her ego. You get what I'm saying? Because like I said, this was a side gig to me. I'm 21 at the time. Uh, 20 turned just turned 22 when Charm's going to film. So at that time I'm having fun, but if this shit slip up, I still got my money. I don't, my whole, my career is not reality television. It could be a side career, but that's not my career. And ain't nothing going to break me. People in Hollywood have a problem with that because when they can't break you, it's like, damn, I don't like that bitch. She has no reason to not like me. If anything, she should have liked me. And she does owe me an apology. I don't give a fuck if she gives it or not, which I, I really don't even give a fuck if she gives it. Right. But my point is, if we 